Hello guys, welcome to another Python refresher session. In this session, we are going to look into classes. So let's jump into the Jupyter Notebook and from where we will discuss about classes and the objects. But prior to jumping into the Jupyter Notebook, I wanted to remind you classes and objects are part of object oriented programming and I have a detailed course on this topic that is learn to code from scratch with Python 3. If you visit my profile, then you will find this course. If you are new to the programming background, then I would suggest that you should go through this course, then come back to data analysis course. If you have idea about object oriented programming, then you can directly jump into the part two of this course. I'm taking this Python refresher session because we all be at same page and these all python core concept is going to be used very thoroughly within the upcoming sessions so now let's proceed further and start our discussion on classes and the objects so let's jump into the jupyter notebook so we are into the jupyter notebook let's start our discussion so prior to understanding about what actually the classes is we must have to understand that from where it is coming from so whenever we are talking about classes and objects, that means we are talking about the programming paradigm. So what does it mean by a programming paradigm? So basically whenever we are writing any program, so that program falls into certain programming paradigm. There are various type of programming paradigm like functional programming, declarative programming, the same way we are having the object oriented programming. All these concepts I have discussed thoroughly in one of my course which I have already mentioned. If you want to look into those then please go through that course first and then come back to this course. So now let's talk about object oriented programming paradigm. So whenever we are talking about object oriented programming paradigm in this way of programming paradigm we basically organize our program around the objects rather than function and logic. The core concept of object oriented programming paradigm is classes and the objects. So now the next question over here is what actually the class is. So if you go by definition, a class is a template for creating objects. So whenever if you are creating a class, then you define various properties of that particular object along with the behavior of that particular object in terms of methods. In this session, we will look into how to create classes and how to define properties for that particular class and how we can create the methods which will define the behavior of the class. So we have done enough of talk now. So what we will do, we will create a class and within that class, we are going to introduce some properties Along with that, we will introduce a method to get the understanding about the classes and the objects within Python. So to make the example very simple, I am going to create a class called employee. So to create a class, first we need to write a keyword called class over here and the name of the class. So let's write it. So we are going to create a class called employee. Now this way you have defined a class over here but this class doesn't have any property. So let's add some properties to this class. So we are going to create some of the properties over here. So let's create the properties over here. So we will specify that ID. So I'm going to specify underscore underscore ID. That means you are creating a private variable over here. After that, we will create every employee should have an ID. So we can have ID over here then every employee should have name so we will keep it blank and every employee must have gender so to make this employee class simple and i'm going to have a variable called age so over here i will keep it these four properties so these are the variables within the class and we will call it as a properties now so the next step we have to create the constructor so constructor is a special method which will be called whenever an instance of this class is being created and instance of the class is also known as object. 
so over here i am talking so many things so don't get confused so let's go step by step so next step we have to introduce the init method or uh, init method over here init is a special method within python which is being called whenever an object is being created so let's look into that how we will create a constructor to create a constructor we are going to use init method and the syntax to create the init method over here is you need to specify def and then you need to use double underscore and then init again double underscore so this is the special syntax and over here you need to specify self keyword and along with the parameter which you are going to pass whenever you will create an object of this particular class so over here we are having four properties which we are going to assign whenever a new object will be created so we need to specify over here what we are going to pass we are going to pass employee id the name of the employee gender and the age and over here we will assign it to assign it we can access these value these are the private variable so to access this variable we need to specify self keyword dot underscore underscore id and over here we will assign the employee id which we are passing whenever we are creating the object so again we need to specify over here self underscore underscore name equal to name another variable another properties you can say we are having is the gender and gender over here we will specify like this same is the case with age so here age equal to age so now whenever we will create an object so these value we need to specify and these value gets set within these private variables so this is one of the way you can initialize the object with the values so now the next step we are going to introduce one behavioral function within this class and that behavioral function is show data show employee information we can tell that so we will specify show emp info and this will print the detail about the employee so how we will create it so let's look into that so as i already said that it is a part of this particular class so we must have to specify a special keyword so that it will understand that this is a method within this class so we you need to specify self over here and after that we will print all these information which we have passed through the object so how we can print it so let's format some of the print statement over here so we need to specify print first thing we are going to print is the emp id so type employee id and then i am going to print over here colon after that the information self dot underscore underscore id copy paste it so that we can save the time control v control v control v and this time here we will tell that name here we will tell that gender and here we will tell that age and same will be replaced over here same is the case with gender and same is the case with age so this way we have defined this particular method within the class now the next step so we have created a class called employee now in the next step what we are going to do we are going to create the object of this particular class so first shift enter so that we have created a employee class so now let's create an object of this particular class so how we will create it so it is also pretty much a straightforward so to create an object we you need to specify the variable name i am going to create employee one equal to that is going to be employee class and when we are creating the object we need to pass the value of these particular properties so we are going to pass some values so here i am going to specify this value this is my employee id and name is oliver and gender is male and age 
we can tell that 45 years so now shift into so an object is being created now let's check the type of this particular object first so let's type it emp1 here type so let's look into that what type of this object is shift into then you will see that here this object is a type of employee which we have created now this is about creation of the object so now i want to call this method so how we can call this method with the help of object so we will tell that emp1 dot type show so the moment you will type show and click tab then it will take the entire name of the method so now you can put the parenthesis to call this method and shift into then you will find that it has printed all the information about the employee so this is the beauty of class object paradigm or say object oriented programming paradigm where you can create your own data type like we have created employee as our custom data type and this data type contains some properties and some behaviors so with the help of method we are defining some behavior over here and with the help of these private variables we are creating the properties so this concept is very important whenever if you are going for data analysis or any kind of a machine learning or say data science learning this comes very handy we need to create so many classes while designing the models so we must have good understanding about this particular programming paradigm so that's the reason i wanted to introduce classes and the object in python and this is what i wanted to demonstrate over here and this is our last session of part one of this course that is python refresher sessions from the next part onwards we are going to look into numpy core concept for data analysis numpy is one of the important package within python which we will be using within data analysis so we must have a thorough understanding about the numpy package so that the reason i have kept it into this course one of the important point which i wanted to tell you about the numpy is numpy is the package which we generally used for array manipulation so there are many concept within array manipulation which we will look into in the part two of this course so on this note, I am stopping over here. See you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.